looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Rising Stars, guys. We have the new Rising Stars that have come out. You know, this comes out like once every month or so, considering the fact that they are a Wild Card Wednesday. Uh, usually a Wild Card Wednesday feature, but they're not weekly, of course. It is many things they give us on Wild Card Wednesday. So... It is nice to have Raw Rising Stars back in the game. Now, what I would like to see in the game was I miss the old Rising Stars. If you guys remember back in like Madden 25, they would give us like a Rising Star card. And you had to like collect a few of them to create like the actual Rising Star player. And then you said like Le'Veon Bell and he was a rookie. And if you like, it was like, it was a cool system. We had to get like three of the cards to make the big one. That used to be pretty cool. I would like to see that implemented back in the game again. A nice Nat card like that. But guys, before we get back into the you know the rest of the video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what's going on, guys. Let me know who you've been getting out of your free team of the year packs. Probably gonna get to the solo grind today and try to start getting um my free packs to show you guys. So make sure you are going down below and let me know who you've been getting. I'm kind of curious to see who people are pulling out of that pack. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Now, moving on, guys. Uh, to go check out the rising stars these are the old ones of course some pretty good values on a budget squad if you guys do uh feel the need to build the budget squad with some of those players now here are the new ones we got cj henderson start with him cj henderson cornerback for the jaguars first round pick 94 speed 95 excel 94 agility 92 jumping 87 play rec 95 man 92 zone 88 press not bad we'll get 99 man coverage with a lockdown on him we'll get above 90 play rec above 90 press and his 94 speed cj henderson is a goon Gotta be a super super good budget corner. Six foot one. Let's see any behind the card stats. 60 catching. He will get 94 change of direction, which is super good. No good after the catch stats per se, but he does have good hit power. 75 hit power for a cornerback is pretty solid. Overall, the CJ Henderson card is pretty good. Would not mind him on a budget squad. Of course, his price will uh differentiate here and there. I'm not sure what it will fall to, but let's say it gets into like the 150 range, will be a pretty good budget corner. He's not bad at all. Next, we do have Derek Brown. First round pick for the Carolina Panthers defensive tackle. 73 speed, 85 excel. Not horrible uh, athleticism. 92 strength, 94 tackle, 90 play rack, 92 block shed, and of course, 88 power move. He will get above 90 power move. He has above 90 block shed, above 90 tackle. Again, will be a really well-rounded, budgety defensive tackle depending on the price. It will come down significantly. I promise you that 250 price tag is not his actual price tag. 92 strength is pretty good as well. He will have, let's see what else he has behind the card, 94 injury. He will get 93 impact blocking. He will get 94 hit power. That's pretty solid. Hit power solid. Strength is solid. Power move solid. Block shit solid. Again, these aren't going to be meta cards. Uh, they will be theme team. They will be budget squads. They will be, you know, maybe no money spent, but they will not be meta. And that's just because they're not the highest overalls in the game, right? It doesn't mean they're bad. It just means they don't apply to the meta. Beyond Derek Brown, we got... Noah Fan, which actually could be pretty good. Let's check out his stats. 92 speed. So Noah Fan will be the best budget tight end in Madden, guys. For this reason, this reason only. 92 speed, 75 strength with 92 catching, 94 catching traffic, 94 spec catch, 90 short, and 88 medium route running. Guys, this is budget Darren Waller. Again, this game's off thresholds. All you got to do is go ahead and put play fake on him. He will get the route running threshold for medium and short. He has the speed. He's six foot four. He can catch. After the catch, he has some decent change of direction, some decent juking. Uh, good catch in traffic, guys. This is a good card. This is a budgety version of any of the best tight ends in the game. So if you cannot afford Waller, Kelsey, Gonzalez, Engram, or any of the any of those above, go ahead and pick up Noah Fan. He's actually really good. This can fit into the meta. You can put him on a God Squad, and he will get the job done. Per se, right? Maybe not as good as Darren Waller, but he will get the job done. And you won't you won't miss a beat, right? That that is a really good card. Next we got Joe Burrow, which actually is a rookie premier. So if you guys had Joe Burrow, you will be getting this card for free. 86 change of direction. Uh, sorry, 86 speed, 95 uh, throw power. It's actually pretty good for Joe Burrow. 95 short accuracy. Well, 94, but then you get the play fake up. 91 medium accuracy, 92 deep accuracy, 91 throw under pressure, 93 throw on the run, and 90 play action. Now this car, with the beauty of this car, like I said, he's a, he's a rookie premier, so you will be able to get him up pretty easily uh, for free on top of that. So then you can just go ahead and plow, cap him up. Play fake and everything. He'll get 99 throw power, which is good. He gets the speed, and all his accuracies are above 90. So he's going to be a all-threshold quarterback with some speed. A Rick Premier card that can actually be used. Not bad. Again, it won't be meta. won't be the best quarterback in the game. 
but he has speed with all threshold and then throw power will be useful abilities not so much but we're used to that 80 juke move let's see what else let's see what else we got here break sacks and 90 break sack being a 90 is not bad either again these cards are useful i mean like that's the one thing at least i'm not making dead cards right like when they release veterans or heavyweights and stuff like they'll drop a card and i'll have like a 90 speed right They'll have good stats, but 90 speed, so the card's dead. Off the rip, dead. Like, in no way, shape, or form can they be used, right? Because it's faster cards. They'll drop a quarterback card without the thresholds. It's like, okay, well, now he can't throw properly, so card's dead. They'll drop, again, a Noah Fent, 88 speed. Okay, well, the Sony Titans faster, dead. No, Joe Burrow can get 99 throw power, can get all the thresholds, and has some speed. Usable, and so there will be a team that can use it. Noah Fent matches the highest tight end speed. Usable. That's kind of just the deal here, right? No offense, really good. CJ Henderson with the top speed as well is really good. We got Christian Lindstrom as well. Right guard for the Falcons. 89 strike, 95 awareness, 89 pass block, 90 pass block power, 87 pass block finesse, 93 run blocking, 94 run block power, 90 run block finesse. So you start again. Pass blocking is not exactly great, but he's a right guard. And if you're looking for, if you're in a run heavy uh, scheme, there you go. Christian Lindstrom can be used as a budgety right guard. The speed's good, 77 speed and 87 excel is really good in the right guard. And his impact block is going to be 95. Lead block 96. Again, this car can impact block and lead block. And he's got crazy speed. If you're in a run heavy meta, you can skip the team of the year lineman if you really want to. And if you're a budgety team, go ahead and toss Kirsten Lindstrom in there. He will come down in price, guys. Of course, these prices are not set in stone. As you guys do know with that, these prices are changing rapidly, right? Especially as they're being pulled rapidly. 89 strength's a little bit low. But everything else looks great. That speed and excel is different for a lineman. Like, you don't get close to 80 speed in alignment and if you do you certainly don't get 87 excel it reminds me kind of like back in the day lane johnson that guard well he's a tackle but i'm saying if lane johnson's older cards were a guard this is kind of what it would look like good run blocking but very well rounded as well chris linkstrom good now let's check out the prices like i said there's not many right so we only have joe barrow brown linkstrom henderson and there's a noah fan and again these are going to be changing rapidly they're going to be bought out bought in you know back and forth the way you get them with the training is isn't an effective way of getting them you're pretty much losing some people are probably doing them anyways but again they will come down i imagine these cards will probably fit in between anywhere between 100 and 150k when all is said and done once they start getting pulled rapidly um for the meantime they may sit around 180 to 220 but they should come down it's just a matter of like people actually getting them and some newer stuff coming out and just being early in the morning but they'll come down eventually so i know lindstrom oh no well joe burrow was a uh, rick premier so for sure he's one of the more usable ones like here if you really want to use a quarterback on a budgety team or a budget squad or just in general on a bengal steam team so if you have joe burrow not a bad rookie premier to have but as well it's just it's cool to see some nice young guys get some love here uh so that's our last refresh there just want to see if some price came down 175 for henderson yeah no fan went pretty fast no fans can be good people are going to be buying him out gonna be a great player on a lot of teams but guys that pretty much wraps up today's video Again, comment down below. Let me know what the deal is with your free team of the year, guys. Who have you been pulling out of there? What bangers have you guys gotten? Again, one of the more fun packs in Madden. Team of the year fantasy pack, always super fun. Let me know down below who you're getting. Uh, who's your favorite team of the year player? But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on the noti bell. Like the video. Comment down below. And if you guys do need coins, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. I'm out. Peace.